and we're back. It's Halloween week. It is Halloween. Spooky stuff. My favourite week of the year, apart from Christmas. Mm. So today, from the Dorset Chili Shop, .co.uk, we have Jack O'Lantern sauce. Impossibly the funkiest little bottle I've seen in a while. I like that. Yeah. I do like Look that. Look at that. Little, oh, little pumpkin. So like cool. Thing hanging on there and this really funky spider web type material on the top there. and Like the twine and stuff yeah. like that on it. It's really, really cool. Really nicely done. I like this. Yeah, I do. So I'm, I'm going to ruin it now by opening it because I can't drink sauce through a bottle. I, not. I'm not a witch, are you? If the hat I'll fits. let you have that. I'll yeah. let you have that. So let's open this up. Arr. Right, in this, uh, arr, where are the ingredients? Right, we have yellow peppers, mandarin, peach, pineapple, nectarine, lots of fruit. Really fruity. Onion, seven pot brain strain, 18%. Okay. Moot Jolokia, the ghost chili, 2%. Spider vinegar. Spider vinegar. Well, cider, but it's Halloween. Um, garlic, corn flour, and sea salt. Shake well before each use. There's no pickle trash in there. Okay. Should be all right there. There we go. Let me try and see if we can get that off. So no, it shouldn't. No. It shouldn't tip off. It, it's it's on there, but we can it's we can cute. take it off because we don't want to get that little pumpkin charm grubby. Now we can see here. I haven't shaken this yet. To be fair, I've shaken myself. You have shaken, but not stirred. But uh, yeah, we'll we'll give that a good shake. And uh, there's a close up. Ooh an out of focus close up there we go oh, it's got some bits in it isn't it that has some bits yes mm. i think they're going to be quite warm bits as well <coughs> so today's vehicle of choice tortilla tortilla yeah what does tortilla go with the witch's hat? The shape. Look. Oh, okay. Right. Um, so let's give this a, a go. No, but I've been quite excited about this week because we've uh, we've got ourselves a little stash of Halloween specials, haven't we? Ooh. It's got an interesting smell to it. You can smell the super hot straight off, can't mm. you? But that's really fruity, but it's, it's almost Tabasco. Just a little bit. I know it probably isn't going to taste anything like that. Okay, let's give it a go. Let's see what the pause like. Bear with me, corner. We may have a problem. Now, I'm not going to go too overboard on this. Because I don't know how hot this is going to be. I'm expecting it to be warm. So we've got, uh, got some there. Mm, definitely the seed Hmm. Oh, well. there's, there's fruit in there. Definitely fruit in there. Cheers. Cheers indeed. Let's go. Mmm. Interesting because there's a sweetness to start with. Mmm. And then some heat. Quite a lot of heat. 
I'm getting it's all like the back edges of my tongue kind of coming forward and a really fresh pepper taste I'm not getting as much of the fruit as I thought though no I expected that to be more fruity mm. yeah I, I expected you know the, the first hit of sweetness I got I thought right I'm gonna get a fruit burst of I mean you can get it more afterwards I think it's the challenge, isn't it, with some of the, like, the orange fruits. I expected it to be more fruity. I'm not saying it's a bad thing. It isn't. No, it's got a good heat. Um, yeah, there's nice heat mm. to it. Um, it's kind of changed my perception a bit on the sauce because I thought that this would be a really good dessert sauce but it's actually a very savory sauce yeah it's not as fruity as i expected mm. so me sitting prior to doing this i was um yeah sort of oh yeah i wonder if that would go well on a like fruit pie or you know fruit pastry or turnover or something like that but i don't think it would no it's, def it's definitely a savory sauce it's mm. not a, it's not a dessert sauce um, I can see, well, yeah, pizza. Right I could pizza. see that. Um, you get a little hint of the pineapple, mm. so I could see it working with pineapple on pizza. Yeah. Controversial. But you, um, can, you can smell the pineapple. I could see that working with cured meats. Yes. Like ham. Um, sort of antipasti. Yeah. Type stuff. That that I kind think of would go really really well with that. Uh, prosecco ham, yeah. you know that that kind of stuff. I could see that really working well mm. with that cheese. cheese. Yep. Yeah, um, hot meats, maybe chicken. Well, yeah, white meats. I white think meats definitely that would work with pork, chicken, turkey. Um, tell you what, that would go well with is a nice strong fish, a fish with a strong flavour. Um, Probably work quite well with that. Yeah. Yeah, I could, I could see that working maybe even with sushi. But yeah, I love the way they call it a triple treat. I think definitely, yeah, there's there's some heat there. So uh, yeah, you could. Mm. Yeah, I love your fruity sauce. So what would you uh, what would you rate that at? I'd probably actually put that up around a six seven. I was thinking five. So yeah. Um, because definitely, yeah, you get the the seven pot is there. But definitely I've got that, that ghost feeling and I also have a little bit of a runny nose again. So, yeah, it's yeah. got me in all the right places. Um, it's good stuff. It is. It is good stuff. Um, Unexpected, it, but good. It's still available on Dorset Chili Shop website. So, dorsetchilishop.co.uk. Uh, they're still showing... Oh, no. Oh. I'm lying to you. Ignore what I just said. It's sold out. Um, maybe set yourself a reminder for next year mm. it is a hot one it's not one for your uh, apprentice chili heads no um it's certainly one for the those of us that like a bit of heat mm. to our sauce um i'm quite impressed with that though. i like it yeah. i like i like the heat and i'm thinking you know there's lots of ways i'd like to use that so, so uh, trick or treat i'd say treat me too so thank you ever so much for watching guys mm. but i think that's quite enough from us so uh, it just remains for us to say take care happy halloween and we'll see you next time <laughs>